Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week here in the garage, we have the 2022 Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. So we're gonna take a complete underhood tour outlining all the major technical features as well as the do-it-yourself service points. Virtually identical under the hood to the Ford Escape Hybrid, the Ford Escape Hybrid plug-in features a powertrain well proven, an evolution of hardware that's been in production for nearly a decade powering Ford Fusion and C-Max Hybrid models, just to name a few. In the Escape Hybrids are a 2.5-liter Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine, named recently of one of Ward's 10 best engines. Originally developed with Mazda and now built by Ford in Chihuahua, Mexico, this variant of the engine features an Atkinson cycle. It operates slightly different from the auto cycle with intake valves staying open a little bit longer, improving efficiency up to 10%. With an aluminum block and head, it has a relatively high compression ratio of 12.3 to 1, yet due to its tuning, is rated to operate on 87 octane fuel quite safely. It has a conventional port fuel injection system, variable cam timing, and is rated at 166 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. It's mated to the Ford designed and built HF45 hybrid transmission, which has two motors, a main drive traction motor and a motor generator, along with a planetary gear set which allows for continuously variable power output. A large lithium-ion high-voltage battery pack is mounted under the passenger compartment. Altogether, it has a maximum system output of 200 horsepower. Under the hood, you'll find a generous helping of bright orange high voltage wiring, which should only be handled by trained technicians as it carries 450 plus volts, high enough to kill you instantly. The wiring travels all around the engine compartment to the transmission, the charging port, and the hybrid control unit near the top of the transmission. It also travels to and powers the electric AC compressor mounted low on the front of the engine. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top of the radiator coming through an intake snorkel and then down into the compact air filter box. From there, it travels immediately into the drive-by-wire throttle body and into a composite plastic intake manifold at the front of the engine. Looking at the top of the engine, you can spot the fuel rail and the injection system for its port injection, and atop of the head, the four coil packs for its four spark plugs. After combustion, spent exhaust air then exits at the rear of the engine and directly into the catalyst system. Do-it-yourself maintenance on escape hybrids is relatively straightforward in spite of the complexities. Windshield washer fluid is found at the passenger side near the fender, visible by its bright blue cap. Next to it are the two coolant reservoirs. The smaller one to the rear is for the low temperature cooling circuit that includes the hybrid battery, the control units, and the motor drive unit. The larger one to the front is the main engine coolant reservoir. They both use the same coolant type and can be checked and topped off in the same manner. Checking the oil is done at the top front of the engine and you can see the bright yellow dipstick. The oil filler cap is nearby at the top of the valve cover. Accessing the oil filter is done from the bottom of the vehicle. The brake fluid reservoir is at the expected location at the driver's side firewall sitting atop an electronically controlled brake motor in lieu of a conventional master cylinder and booster. To its right is the main hybrid system control unit which is liquid cooled. There are two fuse boxes, one under the hood which handles most of the engine and control system circuits. It's a bit of a chore to access but most owners aren't likely to need to very much. Most of the consumer grade fuses that owners may need to access are in a second fuse box located under the passenger side dash, below the glove box, and behind an easily removable cover. Also in the passenger compartment is the 12 volt battery as there was no room for it under the hood due to the hybrid control hardware being in its normal spot. You'll find it under the rear cargo floor where the spare tire might normally be located. The 12 volt battery handles all of the lighting, interior accessories, and powering the computers. So yes, missing under the hood is the 12 volt battery, but there you also won't find a power steering pump, as it's an electronically assisted system. There's also no dipstick for the transmission, as it's not considered user serviceable. There you have it, my friends, for the Ford Escape Hybrid plug-in in this case. Now, if you've got just a regular Ford Escape Hybrid under the hood, it's identical, with the exception of that extra wire that goes over to the fender charging port on the plug-in model. So if you're just doing service, oil change, fluid checks, things like that, it's going to be identical. Now we have a complete test drive on this vehicle. You can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.